welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okutaya here in beautiful Honolulu. Take a look at this drone footage from our friends over at Excite Modular. Unbelievable view there of PTC 2019. Joining me in fabulous Hawaii, we have Mr. Mike Jonas, the President of Global Customer Operations, and Mr. Travis Ewart. He's the COO of Light River. Gentlemen, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Great to see you back here again. And Happy New Year. It's been um, such an exciting year, and 2019 definitely gearing it up. Mike, you are back again on JSA TV, and we are honored today to meet Light River's new COO, Mr. Travis Ewart. Travis, welcome, welcome. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, can you tell our viewers who might not already know, maybe Mike, you can kick this off for us, tell us a little bit about Light River. Yeah, you bet. I mean, Light River has been for over 20 years now focused exclusively on building, uh, designing, supporting, and controlling transport networks for some of the operators who care the most about um, reliability, predictability, and capacity for their own customers. And so, as such, we've continued to invest in that. We've continued to make that our focus, uh, expanding our ability to design, deploy, and control now those networks for people that run cloud networks globally. Uh, utilities across North America, as well as uh, Tier One, Two service providers. So we're we're having fun, and uh, and we're going to keep at it. And Travis, great time to be a Light River er <laughs> team member. Um, and we have uh, a huge congratulations and honor. You've been shortlisted for PTC's 2019 Innovation Awards. We'll find out, I think, tonight. Tonight's the night. <laughs> so big, exciting night here, and um, and it was in the best network intelligence innovation category. One that for me, I uh, shoe in for you guys. Can you tell us a little bit about what your team has developed over the last year to support this nomination? Yeah, absolutely. And Jamie, this was actually a really fun one for us because it really highlights what our customers are doing to get creative with their network automation. So our Netflix automation platform has all, you know the abilities for them to come in and uh, program or customize, personalize their experience to their employees and even uh, end customers. And in this case, uh, we came up with a capability on their behalf called Power or Proactive Optical Waves Restoration. So that's a mouthful. That is. <laughs> but uh, essentially, it's the ability to detect, detect and even predict an issue on the network. And through our automations, we can figure out service path, we can figure out what's broken and where, and essentially automate all of that test triage and even restoration without a human or a technician even having to get involved. So uh, that's, a, that's a big one to our customers to be more predictive, more proactive, and, uh, and we're excited about what our customers are doing. Sounds innovative to me. So we'll keep you posted on the big win, hopefully tonight. We know that your team of experts, um, Mike, always working to evolve your technology. An unbelievable, constantly evolving. How do you see solutions evolving this year in our industry? Well, for sure, we're going to talk a lot about software this year. Yes. Um, the control of these networks are absolutely vital to driving efficiency, to driving control, to driving customer experience for all of our customers. But we have to do that with the backdrop of an ever-changing, ever-evolving hardware ecosystem. We're going to see more higher capacity DWDM. We're going to see more resilient and redundant packet. And we're going to see really this year the, the emergence of true white box networking. The disaggregation that we've kind of been pursuing for years is now kind of here. And that's going to become a big part of not only how we train our engineers to design and deploy, but also support and control. And Travis, evolving technologies this year in our industry, any other uh, feedback? Yeah, you bet. So one of our uh, greatest strengths is that of making our transport and complex optical networks all look the same. So for our automations across multi-vendor, multi-technology, multi-generations of that technology, uh, you know, we'll continue on the path with uh, the DISAG open source white box agenda, greater of OTAN and WAVES technologies. And uh, as we develop all that, you know, for our customers, the ability to consume that through our user interfaces, portal, mobile, as well as through our uh, API advanced services inventory, the ability for them to use that and uh, we make it look all the same. So uh, a huge one for their operational business practice and process. And 
last but not least, my favorite question, looking in your crystal ball, gentlemen. What, uh, what exciting developments do we have on the horizon for Light River? Mike, I'll start with you. Well, so outside of technology, we've had a ton of operational activity in the last year or so. We've, we've grown our service delivery team by over 50%. Oh, wow. So the factory built network continues to remain on fire as, as the most predictable most convenient way to deploy new next generation networks, especially across multiple network domains. We've grown our West Coast warehousing by almost double. We've grown our New England warehousing and logistics by double. We're expanding our facilities in New Jersey for our software development team. And more of that type of growth for the rest of the year. The, the trend lines for our business, for the transport industry in general, are continuing up and to the right. And uh, we've, we've got to keep up with it. So. Uh, Sleep will be an option this year that we may take advantage of from time to time, but otherwise it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. I love a good growth story. Travis, anything else to uh, add in there? Yeah, similar. So on the Netflix or software dev side of things, we, we had probably similar percentage growth from a headcount or a, a staffing last year. We're going to double down on that this year. And uh, as part of that, we're moving into uh, a new location in Homedale, New, uh, new Jersey, so that of uh, Bellworks. So it's... Uh, a facelift to the, the, the traditional or former Bell Labs location. So we're That's jazzed great. about that, having our, our uh, employees take up residence there. A great showcase for customers. And uh, uh, another one that Mike didn't capture, I will here, is that of our, our labs, whether it's on the East Coast or in the, in the Bay Area. We're going to continue to grow that out uh, so for us to get our hands on the real technology and do, uh, do automation the real way. Uh. Definitely a company to watch, folks. LightRiver.com. Thank you, gentlemen, for, for spending some time here today in fabulous PTC 2019 with us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.